welcome back to my channel. How are you all? I hope that you've been creative since the last time that I saw you. Well, today we are going to create some portraits, but not any sort of portrait, they're special. They are Picasso inspired portraits. And what that means is that they're going to look a little bit strange and a little bit different compared to normal. So here I've got an example of some of Picasso's work. You can see here, this was the Weeping Widow. And his work was a type of style of art called cubism, which meant that he would make the features, so the eyes, the nose and the mouth, for example, look a bit strange. Sometimes the one eye might be pointing one way and the other might be looking forward or the nose might be from the side. And all those features would be distorted and changed. So they'd look a bit strange. And that was part of the cubism movement. So what we're going to do today is a collage. And that means we're going to stick and glue lots of different shapes and pieces of paper together. So what you'll need is We're going to get started on our Picasso's inspired collage. And what we need to do first is get lots of scraps of piece of paper that you have in as many different colours as you can find. I've got some blue, green, orange here, but you can use any, any colours that you have. Got lots of little bits as well, got one with patterns. And what we're going to do to start off with is decide on what colour your background is going to be. So I'm going to have blue and then I'm going to choose what my face is going to be. And that probably needs to be a big sheet of paper because your face is going to be quite large. I'm going to draw it on green here. So if you've cho chosen your paper, let's draw the face. So to start off with, we're going to do an arch. Like this. We're going to come down, make a rounded chin shape, and back up again. Okay. We're also going to add a neck, but we're going to do cut that out separately. So an arch shape there. We're going to come down like that. Same on the other side, a little bit like a tree trunk. That on a bit, and then all the way across and back up and join. Okay, so that's our first bit of drawing complete. What you can do next is using your other different colours, start to draw some other shapes. So I've used some coins and I've got Pritt stick and things like that, and I've drawn around them to create lots of different shapes. Okay. So if you go ahead and draw some shapes. So you can see I've drawn circles, triangles, so lots of thin rectangles. You can see quite a few thin rectangles here. And these are going to be eyelashes. So as you can do as many eyelashes as you like. So lots of thin. If you haven't got black paper, don't worry. You could just color in some black on, on the paper and cut them out and here I've created a mouth so let's do that together so here I've done a triangle up and down back up and down so a bit like a pointy M then I'm going to take it down and across and back up again and draw a line through the middle that's your mouth shape now I'm going to draw some pupils, we're going to cut those out and I've got two long rectangles here for more eyelashes. I think we're going to use these for the hat, so two quite large pointy triangles there and oh what else could I have? I think I'm going to do a cheek, so I'm going to do a circle, just going to do that freehand. So I'm going to do the ears, but I haven't got any blue and I really want to do blue. So I'm going to show you what you can do at home. So I'm going to draw the ear here, do it like this shape. And back up, because then we can do sort of curly shapes like that. But I'm going to colour it in, so then when we cut it out, it's blue. So you can do that at home if you haven't got lots of different colours. 
don't worry you can just cut them out like that so the other bit that i need to do now i've got all the different features the mouth the eyes the cheek and you can add other things as well is her sort of shoulders here so i'm going to do those in orange a rectangle like this but it's got rounded edges there bring it all the way to the bottom okay so i've got lots of different shapes i've made some extra shapes just in case i might need them for decoration and now we're going to get cutting so i'm going to take my scissors and start to cut away and you do the same okay so just cut each piece out and then we're going to glue them together i think we've got everything let's just check so we've got a nose yep we have a mouth got a cheek got the face and the neck we've got an ear uh oh eyeballs we need some eyeballs don't we let's do those yellow like on here let's get a bit more card so we're going to do an arch over and then the other eye so that's from the front i'm going to do it from the side and again this is another trait of so he changed the features to look sideways for some and forward for others. Looks very strange, doesn't it? So we've got the eyes, we need some eyebrows. Hmm. I think I'm going to do those in. You can see here I've cut out all the various parts of the face, all the different features. The only thing I haven't done, which we're going to do now, is the hair. So I'm going to do hair that is similar to this one. What we're going to do is do cut it in sections. So I'm going to draw a line up and it's going to arch as it gets to the top. So about here. And we're going to draw a line down. And then we're going to follow that shape around all the way to the bottom, a little bit thicker towards the bottom and then straight across. That's our first shape. The next one, because we're going to try and fit it on this bit of card, we're going to do a line down, a line across and we're going to arch the other way like this. This time we're going to come to a point. So as we're drawing, we're going to meet that point down there. And just for good luck, I'm going to draw an extra bit in case we need it. So just a sort of a rectangle shape. Okay, I'm going to cut those out. So now I've cut everything out, one of the first things we're going to do is stick the main parts down. So I've just put some glue here. I've just stuck those bits down there. Let's stick that bit down. Make sure all the edges have got plenty of glue. And then we can start to place all our different features. Cut out those extra pieces there, those bits of hair. And now what we're going to do, the fun part is we're actually going to put it all together to try and make the face. So while we've got the hair, let's start off with that. I'm going to place it first and then we'll glue it because that means we can move it around if we need to to start off with so i put one bit of hair that side i'm gonna go let's pop that in the middle this bit here and i've got some circles i'll rub that out a little bit later but just so we know where we're placing everything we give them a little bit of a fringe with that like that lovely okay Next, I'm going to give her a hat. So I'm going to put my orange bit there, my orange triangle, and another orange triangle. Um, ears. Now, ears are really important in Picasso's work because they often can be in unusual places, higher or lower than normal or more into the centre of the face. So I'm going to put it about there. Remember, we can move things around. And the nose, I think I 
I'm going to put it here. So this picture is going to be slightly different to the other one. I'm put that bit there. I've got a bit of cheek and I'm going to draw onto this later. So let's move that ear up. I think the cheek's going to go roughly there. Maybe the ear can move here. Boinging around. Got the mouth. Put the mouth. Maybe there. And I'm going to put, I've got a little yellow circle, I think that could go in the cheek. There. Okay, I've got the eyes, so let's pop one in here. Do that. And the other one, I'm going to do that way. This one is facing as if you're looking sideways. Got my pupils. Perhaps looking that way a little bit. And then like that. And just to show that it's looking at the side, I'm going to put one of the thinner eyelashes kind of here like that. And the other one like that. Okay, and then we're going to add some eyelashes. Well, they're a little bit long, aren't they? Let's put those put those shorter. Woo! That's jumped over there, flying away. Okay, so I've we'll cut that one a little bit shorter. Put those in there. And there's another one. The eyelashes. Okay, is that all my bits? Yeah, I think that's all the things that I've cut out. Um, yeah. Okay, so the next job is we're going to glue all of that in place. So if you get some print stick, it's probably the best sort of thing, some glue on a stick. And basically go through each part and stick every section down. Off you go. I've glued everything on now and you can see all the different features but as you can see here that's a really light to add different patterns and shapes and colours so we're going to do that next. So I'm going to start off with a green and I'm going to do a spiral in the cheek like so. Do a different colour if you like and you can see here that we've used some green under the the lip that's to make it a little bit like a shadow and also under the chin so again like a shadow okay and next I'm going to get a pink pen so I'm using Posca pens but you can use normal pens it's fine I'm going to go around the eyelid in my pink they don't have to be realistic colours, they can be quite different to what you would normally use. I'm going to go around the cheek here. Like that. And again a bit on the chin. Just adding blocks of colour, so sections of colour. Just to make it look a little bit more abstract thinking about where the shades would be. Brilliant. I'm now going to take some blue, I think, and look at the eyebrows. So I'm gonna do some wiggly lines, the eyebrows. Uh, I'm also gonna highlight the ears, for the shape in the ear there. Like that. Excellent, and I'm gonna add some texture to the hat up here as well so just some lines across 
that way, and that way. Okay. I'm now going to take a purple and just add an earring, I think, here. And a little triangle over here just to add a bit more pattern. Try and go up here and some little triangles on the shoulders. Now I've got a white pen that I'm going to use, but you could use chalk or uh, anything that you have. And I'm going to do the lines on the black paper. If you've coloured it in black, then it should be fine to use any, any crayon. But I can only really use white on the black. So I'm going to draw the lines of the hair. this side, all the way back up, it looks like strands of hair by doing this, excellent, okay I think that's nearly done, so the final bit that we need to do now is um, Picasso would like to use black lines to highlight different highlight the different sections of the face so we're just going to go over in a black pen and do that now so we're going to do the whole whole thing so the last part is to do the decorations so again Picasso would use lots of lines in the background so we're going to do the same we're going to do some horizontal and diagonal lines. So I'm going to start off with the horizontal lines which are going to the side. I've chosen a blue pen to do that and we're going to go all the way sort of across. So imagine you're skipping across the body so it's kind of all the way across so it's behind the body. Okay, and then when we've done that, it goes all the way to the bottom. I'm going to do the same, but going up. Like that. Right, off you go. So I've completed now my Picasso-inspired portrait with all the different patterns and different features looking from side to side and in different proportions and in different ways. Well done everyone. How did you get on today? I hope you created some great portraits. Here are my two finished portraits here. I'd love to see yours so make sure you hop on over to my Facebook page and post a photo of what you've created today. Also remember you can subscribe below that means clicking on the red subscribe button and that means you can follow me it's completely free you can unsubscribe at any time it just means you'll know when I post new videos see you next time Bye.